Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel. In the previous video, we learned how to create an instant CloudFlow from scratch. And now we will explore how to enhance it with input parameters and dynamic content. We are going to talk about input parameters and dynamic content, which are two powerful features to make flows more flexible and efficient. Let's dive in. First, let's talk about input parameters. Input parameters allows user to provide values when triggering a flow instead of hard coding values. Input parameters let us customize our flow based on the user's input. For example, if we are sending an email, we can use an input parameter to define the subject line, recipient or message dynamically, making the flow adaptable to different scenarios. Now let's talk about dynamic content. This is automatically generated data that comes from previous steps in the flow. Instead of manually typing values, we can pull dynamic data from triggers actions and connectors for example in an outlook email automation we can use dynamic content to insert the sender's name email address or the subject of an incoming email to get started we go to power automate navigate to my flows and select the flow that we have created previously we open it here we have our flow which sends an email using office 365 outlook connector we will change the body of our email we can change it from here, but there is a much more easier way. Yes, we can use input parameters in the trigger of our flows and use them as variables in the later steps of our workflows. That's the whole idea. So let's go ahead and do it. Select trigger, go to parameters, add an input. We can choose different type of inputs, but we will choose it as text, write message, here, we are going to instruct the user to enter the input. Now we will go to action, go to email body. We will go to dynamic content that is Thunderbolt icon. We can see the variables that Power Automate collects automatically. Choose the variable that we have created previously. We can see it is not a regular text. It is a dynamic content. Now we will save this flow, test it, test manually. Now we can see it is asking us to put our message here. As we can see, we got this mail at 11.24 am and its message is different from the previous one. This means we have successfully implemented input parameters in our flow. Now we will edit this flow and change the subject of the mail. We will save it, test it automatically with a recently used trigger and recently entered input. Now we can see we got a new mail with a different subject but with the same body because we have tested it automatically with a recently entered input. In this video, we learned about input parameters and dynamic content in Power Automate. These features help make flows more flexible and dynamic, improving automation efficiency. In the next video, we will learn how to use the Gmail connector in Power Automate. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more Power Automate tutorials. See you in the next one.